President Muhammad Buhari has expressed conviction that his administration has significantly attained its repositioning plan for the Nigeria police force and expresses hope that subsequent national leadership of the country will sustain the initiative. This, he emphasizes, is critical towards deepening the democratic credentials as well as advancing the course of rule of law. This was at the official launch of the critical operational assets procured by the Nigeria Police Force. State House correspondent Adam Usambo has details. Thank you. Thank you. The newly procured operational assets inaugurated by the president include armored personnel and troops carriers, water cannons, patrol vehicles, crowd control, rapid deployment barriers, GPMG and AK-47 upgraded rifles, drones, and explosive ordnance disposal equipment. The procurement of the assets, some of whose utilization is demonstrated here, is in furtherance of the broad plans by the Nigeria police towards guaranteeing a stable internal security order as well as peaceful, secure, and credible 2023 elections. The overriding goal is to modernize, reform, and restore the dwindling pharmacy of our police within the internal security architecture of the country. And I am delighted that the force leadership is advancing my vision to bequeath to the nation a democratic culture in which the police will not only be apolitical and impartial during the 2023 general election, but in which the process will be peaceful and secure and the outcome truly reflective of the free will of the students. While commending the Inspector General of Police for his commitment towards achieving an efficient police force, the President urged him not to relent in the provision of requisite police security that will not only engender a stable security space ahead of the elections, but also guarantee the credibility of the exercise. I call on the Inspector General of Police and the indeed all law enforcement agencies that will be complementing the police in the election security process to note that the eyes of the nation and the global community will be on you all. I have no doubt of the high level of preparedness of the Nigeria police for the exercise. I trust also that in line with your service oath and statutory obligation to our beloved country, you will not disappoint us all as you put to effect your election security governance operational plans. The president used the opportunity to confirm his approval for the release of funds for the continuation of the annual recruitment of 10,000 constables of the Nigeria police. Police Affairs Minister Mohamed Maigari Dingyadi said more assorted anti-riot equipment acquired from China will soon be delivered and deployed by the Nigeria police towards facilitating free, fair and peaceful elections beginning this month. I assure your Excellency, the resolve of the Ministry under my watch to continue to support and encourage the police towards attaining the lofty democratic and the internal security vision of Mr. President. Let me also assure that the Ministry will continue to encourage the Inspector General of Police in his re-engineering plan for the force. We shall also encourage the police to put to proper use the acquired assets for the good of the citizens and our dear nation. I renew my assurances to Mr. President and the nation that in line with Your Excellency's charge, the Nigeria Police will be apolitical and impartial and shall deliver on our election security mandates within the context of democratic values and best practices. We have in furtherance to this in place adequate machineries that will in most proactive manner identify, isolate and bring to book any political actor that plans to disrupt the political process. The police high command also expressed confidence in the ability of the force to effectively police the election in the most coordinated, civil and rule of law compliance standard ever witnessed in the country. In Abuja, Adamusambu, NTA News.